Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, as you probably saw, I've got myself a cup of tea to hand. I guess it's got real tea in it this time, people. I don't know why I'm sharing that camera. It's this camera. <laughs> got a few of the cameras. Got a few cameras. Anyway. Lovely jubbly. But what am I doing today? Well, you probably know from the thumbnail and probably from the title. I'm back over on the Distant World Tours. Let's jump on over to the old reaction camera because I've got something to show you people inside the view of us. Heck yes, I do. So we went to Waypoint 5 a little way ago, um, hosted by Godfoot808. When you click this now, you can see here it's already red and it's been added to the archive. And it says here, Waypoint Closed. The builder has removed this base. The page serves as archive only. So there you go, people. I have got hit up by a lot of people inside the comments section saying perhaps the base is there, Captain Steve. Maybe you should have done X, Y, and Z to get it to render in. I think the case is now closed on that one, people. Um, the base has been removed. Right, okay. So we're going to scroll on down. I've already done Bad Hat Harry. Hopefully you've seen that episode. That was the last episode that I've done. So now we're moving on to this one. It's a point of interest. And you can click this to your heart's content. It's not going to open up a page. So all we can see is this lovely sort of shot here that looks like it's got Santa's workshop written on a balloon, which is pretty darn freaking gnarly. They've done that with decals inside of game done a good job i must say heck yes anyway we're going to jump on over to this point of interest because it looks interesting yes it says what it does on the tin in fact it says santa's workshop hogwarts and casino fudge everybody knows i like the word fudge i might go and hit up casino fudge and but yeah there's others that do take my fancy like hogwarts and santa's workshop but I'm only going to go and have a look at one, one base inside of this episode. So if, you know, any of those others captivate you, then by all means, go and check them out. Anyways, let's jump on over into side of game and we'll go and have a quick look what's going on, shall we? Heck yes. Chickaboom! And I'm in game. I'm right over by my portal right now, people. So hopefully we're just going to be able to hit on up the portal, put in the code, and away we go, peeps. Okay, so let's you know, just go do this. Right there. Come on, come on. Activate them on portal. And we need to put in the old portal code. So I'm going to need a, a pigeon. Boom. A pigeon flew too close to the sun and burnt his wings and fell down and landed upon a boat. And there he got savaged by beetles. Oh, the poor bird. Yes. Okay. And they erected a monolith like sort of triangular structure in his, in his wake. And they were like, okay, well, that wasn't nice. And then they threw his body into the sea where he got eaten by fishies. Lovely. So he got eaten by beetles and by fishies. And they sort of marked that on a waypoint. Chicka boom. There we go. And then the sun, it went down. But did it ever come back again? Well, we'll find out. There was a dragony fly that flew up to the sun and brought it back into iteration, I guess. Brought it out from a box with a brick in it. And uh, yes, and then the sun, it did shine upon the grave marker. There we go. Dundly done. Um, that was a bit of a shite story. <laughs> I suppose it just makes it feel a bit different from just reading the freaking thing out, doesn't it? Anyway, we're heading into the portal and it's the best I could do. I haven't had enough tea, that's the problem, people. I haven't had enough tea. So let's uh, get back on over to me. Let's get some tea and hopefully my joypad will vibrate to let me know when I've arrived, Decated. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think doing these distant world tours is perfect for having my little tea sessions in between the teleporting, isn't it? It's just, what else do I tell you, though, while I'm drinking the tea? I mean, I could tell you that I've done a new video on the new Dragon's Dogma game. Heck yes. Yes, well, the trailer, anyway. My reaction to... Oh, well, it's, it's vibrating. We've arrived, Kate. So, yes, I've done that video. If it's, if it's ready for you, I'll put the link up there. You can go and hit it up and have a little look-see. I think it's already out there, though, people. Scooby NMS. Scooby NMS found this system. Well, it does mention about the bases being created by Miss Fantasy 4, NMC Chamber, NM Chamber, and also a Malachi 65. Well, that's not any of those names, is it? All right. Well, you know what? Rather than me just go visit the the fudge one, the casino of fudge, that's the one I want to see, just as a, a little bit of a heads up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to spin and I'm going to go, right, I'm going to put my marker on the portal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go clockwise. So this way, I'm going to go that way. The first base marker I come to is the one I'm going to go to. 
Okay, so let's let's try and make this as fair as possible. Let's uh, go this way. First base marker I see. Um, not seeing any base markers. Okay. Uh, oh, there's there's that one. No, it's just something on the Blanken Hill, isn't it? All right, there's one. There's a base marker. We go into that one. Hogwarts. Hogwarts is the first base I saw there, people. So I think I kept that as fair as possible. So we're going to Hogwarts. Yeah? Okay. Brilliant, eh? Yeah. Right, eh? Cool. You know what? I'll do the Hogwarts, and then I'm going to do the fudge one anyway, because I just want to wanted to see. <laughs> yeah? All right, there we go. We'll do one for the viewer and one for me. Okay? So if there are, like, four bases, I'll do that in future as well, to try and keep it a bit fair as well. I would do the first one I see for the viewers, and then I'm going to do the one that took my fancy from the list. But if it turns out to be one and the same one, then um, yeah, we'll cross that bridge when that happens. I'm not going to confuse things now. But no. Right, so flown up into the atmosphere, up where there's less friction, and now we're going to head on over to the Hogwarts base. Lovely jubbly. Hopefully the Hogwarts base has got a teleporter terminus inside of it. And if it has, then I can hit that up and probably choose the Casino of Fudge. Yes, hopefully I can win myself a bar of fudge inside of there. Heck yes, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Oh my days! Okay, well I'm going to slow down in my flight in just to give it a chance to render. You can see a little bit of popping happening as I'm doing this. Oh, one of my favourite tunes is the Captain Steve song. Captain, oh Captain, Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, how do you do the things you do? Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, I want to play the game with you. Funky little tune that one, isn't it? I guess. Captain, Captain. Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, oh Captain, Captain. Yeah, I do want to try and get a whole crowd of Ivy's mates to actually sing that and record them singing it and then have them like doing it. Well, I don't know, I don't think it's ever going to happen, is it? Right, again, let's go into um, camera mode. Let's have a little butchers with this. Now, I've had a lot of people saying to me, Captain Steve, why do you go into camera mode? Because that. You know, it, it, it can cause, if you might see things that haven't fully rendered in. Well, I find it just gives it a little bit more time to render in and sometimes move it around in camera mode. Sometimes you can see things pop in as you're going around in the camera mode that wouldn't necessarily have popped in if you didn't. Uh, so I do tend to try to look through the windows a little bit to try and bring in any details that might be there that haven't fully rendered. Do you know what? What would be nice though, wouldn't it, people? If when you actually got to a base, whether there was something that just popped up in the lower corner down there, you know where the mission text normally appears? Be nice if it says, you know, because they know that you're in the base confines. It's like if I go to here right now and I go to report base, it tells me whose base I'm at, right? So why can't it just below actually say, welcome to so-and-so's base. This base contains this many parts and so far it is 80% rendered. So you know, you see, you know, Right from the bottom corner, rather than it showing mission text, when you land at a base, it shows you the progress of it loading. How hard would that be? It's just a call to the servers. And I'm fairly sure they could put that argument down there in a text written form, saying that who the base marker is, who the base maker is, and to say how far in it's rendered and how many base parts there are. It's complexity level, you know? And then it could say, once it's reached a maximum that it can reach on your hardware, it could say, you know, you're, you're already seeing 80%, um, have fun, you know, that sort of thing. Or it could say, you've now reached your hardware's limitations. So at least PC players know whether their hardware hasn't actually managed to bring it in, or if you're on Switch, it's like, okay, well, my RAM's full now. You know, that sort of stuff. I liked that door. That door was really cool. It's like in here right now. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking... Ooh, do I remark on it and say how empty it is? Or should there be more here? Has it all fully rendered in? But then again, Hogwarts. I've played the Hogwarts game, the Harry Potter game. And, you know, it, it is quite empty, to be honest. I would expect to see more artwork on the walls, to be fair. I mean, our Hogwarts is freaking littered normally in sort of images and stuff. But then, you know, am I seeing everything? Am I in the actual main build yet? I don't know. I really don't know. You know, this is the first time of me seeing this. And although it looks like Hogwarts from the outside, on the inside, it's not very Hogwarty. Have to. I'm being just being brutally honest. I mean, it, it's got freaking neon lights everywhere for a start off, and you know. But then again, we haven't got chandeliers, so I guess it's the best it can be. But at the same time, I don't expect to see gnarly paintings all over the walls, and maybe some chairs and stuff like that. Um, maybe maybe use like you know the little beacons that we've got with the the, um, uh, the, uh, the fire bugs in or something or even some fireplaces or summer 
Um, let's just jump over this side. Let's have a look. This looks like the main entrance. Oh no, that's just where I just was. I didn't see that door because it was too blinking dark. See what I mean? Anyway, let's head on over this way. Um, was that the main door I went in earlier? I think it was. This gnarly one that opens. I think... Have I done the whole bloody thing? That can't be it, can it? Okay, let's go down here. I don't think I've been down here. Yes, I have. I've been... I've, I think I've done it. I think I've taught it all, people. Um, sorry if I haven't, but um, I think that's I think that's everything. Uh, I don't I don't know whether I went up that big tower. Come to think of it, but I couldn't see how to get up there anyway. Oh, okay. Is that that was that was the main? That's where the safe beacon is. Yes. So it does look like Hogwarts from the outside. From the outside, this looks freaking great. But from the inside, it's it's a little bit. I hate to say it, a bit empty. A bit empty. Uh, let's just, uh, yeah, so that's up there. Hmm. Okay, coolio. Well, it's awesome. It looks awesome. Aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I mean, it does look Hogwarts-esque, doesn't it? You know, but it could be any castle, really. And, um, I think Hogwarts. Yeah, and, and give me up. okay, right, well, we're going to take off. We're going to go and have a look at the uh, fudge one. I didn't see a teleporter terminus on my travels around this place, people. No, I didn't. So let's see if we can find the um, the casino of fudge. Let's take to the sky. I mean, who did that one? Um, and it came up, didn't it, earlier when I went to the report basic thing. Uh, okay, all right, well, you've probably seen it on screen. However, I didn't see it. But yeah, well done, whoever made that. It does look kind of Hogwarts-inspired, is what I would say. Hogwarts-inspired base. Because when you go to Hogwarts inside of, like, the Hogwarts game, you know, Hogwarts Legacy, it looks it looks pretty different to that. But, yeah, it looks like part of it, anyway. All right, let's spin this around. Let's have a look what else we've got going on. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, where's this casino of fudge, then? I could use the um, station terminus, can I? Because that's the portal over there. Basement base, where are you, basement base, base? I mean, there's only, what, four bases in this system, so likely could... You know what, I'm just going to go to the blinking station, because I can't see the other base markers. Boom! That's flying over here. Even though I'm seeing them on my radar at the top, as I'm going around, I'm not seeing the little purple dots on the actual planets, but I am playing on a very small screen at the moment, so perhaps it's down to visual um, technologies that I'm using right now, rather than my own eye peepers, people. So forgive me if, if you saw the base markers, but I didn't see them. Um, even though they were on my radar at the top of the screen. No, I can see those. They're freaking tiny. But yeah, I couldn't see them on the planet. All right, so let's head on over here. I don't know whether they're shrunk base markers or something now, people, but they can be obscured by anything. They can be obscured by all sorts of other markers, usually comms balls. I really wish there was a way to filter out comms balls. Right, okay, so if I go to other bases, hopefully we're going to see Casino of Fudge somewhere on this list. Captain Steve Elephant Pet. What the fudge? Where did that come from? Captain Egg... That's all my first planet that I was in. Okay, well, let's scroll down to the bottom and let's hope that it's put them at the bottom of the list then. Casino of Fudge. There it is. Test upload. Okay. All right, well, there we go. There's there's who made Hogwarts. Hogwarts was made by Malachi65. There we go, people in the view of us. So there's also um, Mass Fantasy that's made um, Santa's Workshop Part 1. And there's a Santa's Workshop Overlook made by a different person. So it's like a collab build. And there's Top Secret Santa as well by somebody else. Okay, well, it looks like it's been collaborative. But this person here, the MM Chamber, has also made this Casino of Fudge test upload that I'm going to go to now. It appeals to me because I always say, what the fudge, people? And, uh, yeah, I have actually got a new merch range on the bake at the moment, peeps. And it's actually called... What the fudge? Because I do say what the fudge quite often. You're probably wondering about this merch. This is old merch from the um, the Anvil of Destiny Owners Club. It's not on my merch store anymore, this top. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I might have to make a remake of this one. I don't know. But anyways, peeps, yeah, new merch. I've got a new mug up there that's got like, um, it says what the fudge at the top. And it's got the little Captain Steve character on it. And on the other side, it's got my ship on there. And it says a heck yes above it. It's pretty cool. I might have to order myself one of those mugs. It's quite lovely. There it goes. Anyway, I'm a bit biased. I'm going to jump back into game. I don't think I've arrived yet. Uh, hasn't hasn't vibrated. Oh, I have arrived. Cool. Ooh. Well, this is cool. This has got quite a lot of detail in it, hasn't it? Does it look like a casino, though? Yes, I think it freaking does look like a casino. This is definitely what it says on the tin. I'm liking this. This is awesome. 
<laughs> Look at these guys. They even put decals on their faces. I haven't seen that done before to jellyfish. <laughs> what do you like? That's so cool. Oh, look at these. Oh, these are so cool. And look, you can interact with them. What do they do? Boom! An analyst unit online. Oh, that's so cool. I like the way you've made them look like little casino machines, like little one-armed bandits. Oh, that's freaking great. I love that. That works so well. And you put all the little chairs there as well. And look, they've got screens. Oh, that's so cool. Heck yeah, it's Vegas, baby. Heck yeah. Can I spin the chair? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Vegas. <laughs> right, okay, let's head on over here. Oh, I like the use of the statues as like little guys probably playing. And look, it's like a craps table or something. No, look, there's a roulette wheel. <laughs> oh, that's one of those big whirly man twirly things, but turned on its side and stuck down. That's so clever. Hold on, let's go to camera. I mean, yeah, we're not going to see the movement now. But this is so cool. I love that. Look at that. Yeah, like a little... Oh, that's so clever. I love, that's cool. Yeah, blown away. And then look at this little bullet bar here. Very nice. Um, big fish tank here. I mean, most casinos have like fish tanks. There's a VIP teleporter. Oh, well, that's got to be for me, hasn't it? I'll go in there in a minute. We've got Blob Showdown over this way. What the heck's Blob Showdown? Let's have a look. Oh, so you can bet on which Blob's going to win the race. <laughs> oh, I like the way you tried to make the little posters on here look a little bit different with the two different Blobs that are having a race. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, this one's in the lead. This one's in the lead. Only just, though. Only just in the lead. Is he going to emerge from the corner? Oh, he's gone round the obstacle. Who's going to emerge in first place? Oh, no. Oh, they're synchronised up. No, they're now neck and neck. I think they were neck and neck all the time, people. Yeah, I don't know whether you can actually get them out of sync. I mean, when you place them, you can have them out of sync. But as soon as another person teleports here, it syncs them back up again. Yeah, a bit of a shame that, but I like I like the idea behind it. And there's like the finishing line. Look at that. Oh, it's a photo finish. I think this blob crossed the line first because this flag is slightly further forwards than this one. <laughs> cool. Right, there you go. Lovely. What's this one? What's this all about? It is betting on something. Oh, look, there's like cards floating inside of there. That's so cool. I love the fact that you tried to give him hair as well using grass. Oh, man. Oh, is this where you sort of take your slips and get your money? I don't know. But that's pretty darn cool. I like it, whatever it is. It looks great. There's some vegetation in here to make it look a little bit... Oh, no, look at this! It's one of those tables where you throw the dice down, isn't it? Oh, that's so clever! Let's jump on the table. Let's light this up a bit better. Oh, that is awesome. Ah... Oh. Now this is this is a pr proper freaking casino, people. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking it because of the attention to details in here. I mean, yeah. The Hogwarts one was great from the outside, but even on on the outside, you know, the few more sort of like banners and flags and things like that. It just feels when you look at something like this and the attention to detail. This is this is another level, isn't it? I mean, the Hogwarts base was good. That was good. This. Is fantastic. I mean, I probably couldn't build the Hogwarts base that looks better than the one that, that I just saw. So you know what? It's better than I would be able to do with Hogwarts. Maybe I should word it that way. But I like this bar as well. It's all wavy-davy. I'm loving these octopuses with faces on. Look, there's some little ones over here as well. Pretty darn sweet. It'd be nice if there was more races inside of No Man's Sky. I know we've got, like, you know, the Corvax, the Viking, the Gek, and stuff like that. We you know, like, in Star Wars, where you get the Ewoks and stuff. It'd be good if you know those little bipedal creatures, the fauna that we've got. It'd be nice to see them going in and out, sort of like little places like this. Almost like a little Ewok village. Oh, that's so cool as well. Got some sort of like hot grill going on there. Very nice. I haven't had my lunch yet. I need to have my lunch. But I, this is so awesome. This is almost like a little Ewok village in itself, isn't it? It's very cool. Very nice. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in a casino, though. Just, just put it out there. If this if this is the hotel accommodation for people stopping here, that's a bit crazy. I think it's just a cat though, a themed out cat would, would be what I'd imagine it to be. Oh no, look, there's loads of other machines over here. Oh wow, I've seen K Dog do this, Action Pants Gaming, making like little pools, using sort of like teleporters turned on the side. 
he sort of builds like a little wall around them and makes it look like an indoor pond but this this works really well look it's like a waterfall coming down here a little pole going on and some little visual hues that is freaking cool heck yes love this this is really awesome look at that that's so awesome very nice heck yes and yep, we've got some more little casino cabinets there going on. Nice. What's this over here? Oh, I wonder if that's the... Are you ready to get this party started? Heck yes, I am. Have you got music for me? Oh, look, it's a little DJ. <laughs> I love the way that the cactus has been used like arms above his head. Or a little music box. Initiate tonal output. Insufficient power. No, really? But it looks like there's music happening. Okay, maybe the music is playing, I just can't hear it. Hmm. Very cool though, very cool. I mean, I could plug a headset in and have a listen, but hopefully you guys are hearing some music there. That's like a DJ booth. I'm wondering whether that VIP teleporter is going to take me up there. What about this one? Where does that take me? Aha, uh -huh, it takes me up here. Boom, -tum, boom, -tum, boom, boom, boom. Nice, very cool. I'll get a little viewing area up there. And back down again. Sweet. Five. Very nice. I like the little city loungy type thing there. I wonder where that VIP teleporter takes us. We're going to have to find our way back there. This is awesome as well. Is this a magic guy? <laughs> Look at that. He's actually made a character. This is so cool. It's like the Mad Hatter's Tea Party going on there. I love the little hat that you made for him and everything. That's so cool. Clever stuff. Alright. Let's head on over this way. What's this over here? I don't think I've seen all this. At least put a top hat on this little guy over here. Drinks and cocktails, anyone? Love it. Oh, it looks like he's got a hair. Holy fudge. This is amazing. Okay, people, this point of interest is brilliant. Um, look at this. He's got like a little tray in his hands with glasses on and stuff as well. Let's go with the VIP teleporter. Here we go. VIP time for me. Oh, this is the VIP lounge. Looks like maybe I found the lounge without using the teleporter. Bubble, bubble. What's that? Beeble bums table? What the fudge? How comes Beeble's got a table? <laughs> Beeble's got a table. Beeble bums table. Maybe Beeble's already done a tour of this, but this is cool. Beeble bums table eight. That's so cool. Ah, Beeble, I'm in your VIP lounge, mate. Heck yes, the captain has tainted your area. <laughs> nice. VIP, that's so cool. All right, so here's the VIP teleporter. Let's go into the VIP teleporter. Where does that take us, then? What the actual fudge? I'm in the fish tank. Then, VIP, you get drowned. All right, that's, um, that's different, isn't it? All right, well, I can sit here, I think. Am I sitting inside of a fish tank? Is that what's just happened? Let's go into camera mode. And uh, can I get out of the fish tank? Can I take a picture of me sitting in the fish tank? No, I'm just stuck in the confines of the fish tank. Dang it. I wanted a picture of me sitting in a blinking fish tank. Okay. Oh, well, the hell? how did that happen? Creative Julie's. How? What? And there's a little band. No way, look. And they've all got microphones. <laughs> little, little drum kit. No way. That is so creative. They definitely are the creative Julies. Heck yes. Thumbs up, mate. I don't know how I got up here from the fish tank. Maybe I found a secret area or something. Oh, there's a, there's a freaking hot tub. Place your bets. Okay, cool. Place your bets. Nice. And there's like little sun lounges out here. What What's this planet like with the sun? Let's put the sun in the sky. Oh, okay. Where the fudge am I? What planet are we on? Because it doesn't seem to have daylight mode. Oh, it's an it's an open air type planet. One of those. Okay, cool. All right, not much point having sun lounges on a sunless world, mate. <laughs> Just... <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I love it anyway. Regardless, uh, you've really gone above and beyond with this build. This is freaking epic. I just hope that I'm I'm seeing it all. I'm hoping it's all rendered in, because this is just. This is beautiful. Look, there's some nip-nip up here as well, people, amongst the benches. Yes, I think I found a secret sort of area. I say a secret area. Probably can get to it through this teleporter up here that I've somehow missed as I've done my tour. But this is a big build, so sorry if I have missed anything, people. I would encourage you to come here and have a better look. Second floor! Yeah, I completely missed that, didn't I? Okay, it's over by this thing. 
Although it, oh, it was right next to me. Near to the Blob Showdown. I missed that bit. All right, well, that's where I went into the VIP fish tank and had a little seat, and then it nipped me up into the roof. Very cool. Right, well, I think I have seen it all now. I hope I've seen it all now. And the centerpiece is so cool, isn't it? This whole little pond area. Wow. Yeah, very impressed. Very impressed with everything that I've seen inside of this build, peeps. Heck, yes, I am. Very glad I stopped past this point of interest. Anyway, let's turn off the old PlayStation. Boom. And um, I'll be jumping back over to me in the studio. Heck, yes. With what's left of my tea, which has now got cold. Gone, gone, diddly gone. <sighs> Yummy. Right, so that was point of interest. Um, let's see what we've got coming up next, people inside the viewerverse, shall we? So reaction cam. Let's jump on over here. And we've got this one next, which is by Maximum Maximus 88. Maximum 88, built on Xbox. Now, this has got one base and six planets in here, people. Eight ships, one fauna, two glitches. I think this is a bit of a preview here of whatever the base is that we're going to go see. Looks interesting from the cover. We'd have a better look in the start of next episode for Waypoint 7. And then we're going to be hitting up Stage 2. Now, I'm wondering just how many more waypoints there are to go on here. I mean, that says Waypoint 8. And that's waypoint seven. Yes, waypoint eight. So I can just keep calling them waypoint eight, nine, ten. That's cool. Let's just scroll all the way down to the bottom. How many waypoints are there by the time that I finish all of this? Forty. There's forty waypoints, and there's also points of interest slotted in there. And obviously, they don't count towards the total count. But I am going to skip anything that's not in the Euclid system. As a bit of a heads up, people. Now, the reason why I'm going to skip anything that's not in Euclid is because. A lot of people in the viewerverse, a lot of new gamers to No Man's Sky, I'm not sure really get the concept of the different galaxies. And I get so many people that hit me up on codes and saying, well, I've put in the code and it's taken me somewhere completely different. I'm like, are you in Eisentam? They're like, what's Eisentam? And it's, it's a struggle, people. So I'm just going to stick to any that are inside of um, Euclid. But what I will do is anything that's outside of Euclid, I'll still click into the waypoint screen, showcase the screenshots of the base and say what I think of it and that. But there's a couple of galaxies in this list that I haven't been to. And I don't really want to call on the taxi service to get me over there or any of that sort of shenanigans. So I'm just going to stick to a showcase in the Euclid builds. I did say that in episode one that I just, I'm just i just going to do the Euclid ones. But I just want to drive that point home now because I know that there's some coming up in um, stage two. And I just wanted to put that out there, peeps. Anyways, uh, right, so I'm going to be ending off now. Thank you very much for joining me. And hopefully you're going to join me for the next waypoint because that does look interesting. It looks like it might be a little bit Ewok villagey like. Yeah, awesome. Anyway, ending off. Take care. Cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again.